Hi everyone and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide where our trip here to Dubai continues. If you haven't already, make sure you check out the previous vlogs to this one. We've already visited a couple of parks, haven't we? Yeah, we've visited Motion Gate Dubai and also Legoland Dubai and we had a fantastic time. Oh, we really did. Enjoying this lovely January weather. It's not too hot, it's not too cold. It is just perfect. And yes, in this vlog, we're going to be having a walk around Riverland Dubai, which is basically their version of Universal City Walk and Disney Springs just there. It looks really nice around here and we've also got a laser show tonight which is going to be great to check out yeah it seems like this area comes more alive at night and uh, yeah we're going to check out this laser show tonight see what that's like and just generally show you the area you've got the hotels around here as well and something that i'm really looking forward to having a look at is the construction taking place on rail madrid world set to be opening at some point in 2024 this is a re-theming and reimagining of the former bollywood parks dubai so come and join us we'll take a look around and yeah see what uh, Riverland has to offer. Really nice round here and it's all split into different sections. Yeah, this is like the French village. You've got an I Love Dubai gift shop down there and also a McDonald's off to the right hand side as well. And yeah, I remember coming here six years ago and it being really quiet. There wasn't many businesses open and there is still quite a few areas that haven't got anything in yet. I mean, they built all this with the parks almost 10 years ago now. And uh, yeah, still waiting to fill some of these buildings with different shops and restaurants. However, there is more here to see than there was before. And uh, yeah, of course, it's it's really pretty around here. I just wanted to kind of show you it and kind of how this connects the whole resort together because yes, you've got the two theme parks at the moment and of course the third one under construction. Um, yeah, this is kind of like the area in the middle that uh, brings it all together. We yeah, have the French village. There's Shrek and Donkey up there. <laughs> yeah, you got a few like little uh, booths around serving food. And yeah, this area is lovely. I think this laser show is going to be happening on the middle section just here at some point. Now you've also got two hotels you got La Pita which is like a Polynesian inspired hotel and also the Legoland hotel in fact you can just see it peeking out from over there as well but yeah this is lovely around here it's very nicely finished off and like I say it connects the resort all together nicely anyway we're gonna go and have a look first at Real Madrid World so yeah this is quite interesting it's got a big backstory lots of information so I'm going to talk all about that now and kind of tell you what's happened you know because last time I was here there was three theme parks at this resort and of course at the moment there's currently two and just whilst we're making our way around there, you've actually got this map of the whole area showing you what they've got. So yeah, Motion Gate Dubai off to the left, the theme park we visited the other day. You've got Legoland Dubai and the Legoland Water Park off to the right. And then yeah, it still says Bollywood up there at the moment, but that is going to be Real Madrid World. That's the entrance from the main car park. It's free to park here as well, which is great. And then yeah, you've got the kind of river running through the middle, the peninsula area, the Boardwalk Plaza. You've got the India Gate just over there the boardwalk down here on the right, the Riviera Plaza, and then this area where we are down the bottom. And yeah, this is another car park and kind of like drop off area down here at the bottom. Off to the left, you've got the Lapita Hotel, which is that Polynesian inspired one. And then off to the right, you've got the Legoland Hotel, which isn't actually on the map, but yeah, it's just somewhere here on the right hand side. It must be an older map, that one. This bridge is lovely. And yeah, the architecture of this is fantastic very well designed and yeah you've got all these different areas we saw a sign for the world's largest camel structure and i think that's it just over there it's actually in the guinness book of records so we're going to have a walk over to that in a bit and show you that later on but yeah i think this is some of the tech for the show tonight you can see some lighting over there and yeah like some lasers off to the side so yeah we'll definitely see what this is like later on little burger shack just here and yeah there's the entrance to Legoland Dubai so when we started that vlog earlier and of course that went on the channel yesterday um, this kind of shows you what was in front of that you know all connected to this area instead of just showing you the actual theme parks I really wanted to just show you this area and how it kind of all connects together it's one of those that it has grown um, since last time I was here there is more businesses uh, however there's still a lot of room here for restaurants and shops. I think a big reason why attendance probably doesn't get that high around here most of the time is the location. Dubai Parks and Resorts is kind of built halfway between the center of downtown Dubai and halfway between Abu Dhabi. And there's not much round other than desert. You got TGI Fridays down here and a few other places too, including chickadees just over here. Look at the big inflatable chicken out the front there, Charlotte. <laughs> but yeah, it's really nice around here. I think the architecture of it's fantastic. This was the entrance just down here to the Bollywood Park. And yeah, as I mentioned, that is currently being transformed 
into Real Madrid world. So yeah, this has got a fascinating history, which I'm going to talk all about now. <laughs> Look at that chicken just there. That's funny, isn't it? Yeah, we've got all the lighting and stuff down here too, which makes me think this is for some sort of entertainment. It's like Thursday through to the weekend, they've got like extra stuff going on around here at Riverland than they do earlier in the week, which is really interesting. Here we go then, right down by the entrance and what will be Real Madrid World. And yeah, you can see all the signage down here and active construction work is happening there behind us. Bit of history then for you about this. In 2016, that's when they opened Bollywood Parks Dubai. And yeah, with that park, uh, I visited in 2018 and I did enjoy it. It was lacking in the rides front, but it was very well themed. In fact, the entrance had this really nice archway uh, and there was actually these big elephant statues. Really colorful, very different kind of cultural experience. The rides themselves weren't spectacular. There was a couple of flat rides, uh, simulator attractions, and a stunt show from what I remember. Uh, then you had this huge palace in the middle, which is still standing actually, and we'll see that from a couple of different angles in a moment. And yeah, the park um, never really did that well attendance-wise. Of course, then there was the pandemic, and then uh, for 2021, they reopened with nine new rides. One of those was the huge star flyer that you can see, and along with that, there was some of the new flat rides and additions, a big wheel was put in and a few other bits too so they tried to put more rides in to encourage more visitors but unfortunately it just didn't seem to work uh, and in early 2023 so nearly a year ago now they actually closed the gates to the park and said that it wouldn't be reopening it was then later last year when it was announced that they've partnered um, with Real Madrid of course the Spanish football team to open uh, this football themed park so it's quite interesting how they're not just gone with you know a generic football themed park they've limited it to just Real Madrid. I know they're absolutely massive. I mean, I'm not really into sports myself, but I appreciate it's a big thing. So it'll be interesting to see what it's like. Of course, next time we come, we'll definitely come and visit and see it. It's supposed to be opening at some point in 2024. Originally, they did say early this year. However, it now seems like it could be later on um, this year. But still, we'll have a close look down here at the entrance, see what we can see. And then we're gonna head round the side and have a look at this big wooden coaster. Because yeah, that was another thing that was part of them nine new rides. Uh, a big wooden coaster and unfortunately it's never operated. Now there's been limited information really about what this is going to look like however I'm intrigued to see the finished result. The entrance doesn't look anywhere near as themed as it was before um, but yeah I'd imagine it's going to be very different possibly like a football stadium from what we can see looks a bit more generic but then you've still got that beautiful palace there behind it. So yeah, it's going to be really fascinating to see how they tie this all together. The park itself had a lot of great theming inside when I last visited. So yeah, let's go around the corner and see what else we can see of the future Real Madrid world. Yeah, there's the Ferris wheel over there too. <laughs> they have these little taxes around Riverland as well, which is quite nice. And yeah, you can just pay and they'll take you to the different parks, hotels. Yeah, it's quite a nice area. And this is like the main entrance down here. So we'll be back in here later on. Like I said, we're gonna go and have a close up look at that camel in a bit. Look at that over there. <laughs> Show you some of the other attractions they've got. Like they've got a massive inflatable out at the moment. And we saw people on these last night. So we'll show you these later on <laughs> moving around. And, and we got this, here we go, the big laser show. We got the Smurf just there. See so yeah, how that's gonna be running later on as well. So yeah, we'll come back and see that. Definitely more people around, which is good. But yeah, first we're gonna head out here and we're gonna have a look at the uh, coaster. Here we are then outside. So yeah, one of them new rides that was built as part of the expansion was this huge star flyer, one of the biggest in the world. And yeah, I believe that was also another ride that was planned for the Six Flags Park that was gonna be built here. These parks in the UAE have got fascinating histories and stories behind them. Yeah, recently there was gonna be a Six Flags and that's the same with John Wick and also uh, the spinning coast that we did. Now you see Mihai Roller in Motion Gate. They were gonna be part of this Six Flags and possibly this uh, wooden coaster over here as well. And I keep calling it a wooden coaster. It's actually a hybrid. It's got the wooden track and actually steel support structure. You can just see that over there in the distance. We're gonna get a lot closer to it so we can get a better angle. But yeah, I just wanted to show you the active work happening out here because I find it fascinating seeing stuff like this happening. You know, a part that's not even that old, 2016 it opened and already it's having a major retheme. You know, there's that big palace in the middle, stunning in there. I remember walking in and wow, you know, the big shows in there and it kind of opened on an evening for shows as well. And yeah, that's the entrance off to the right hand side just there. Just over here on the car park now, this is nice, isn't it? How it's all covered over. It needs to be, especially if you're visiting in the summer. And yeah, there's a look at that huge star flyer. Yeah, it's massive. It has got a big spike 
on the top up there though, so I don't know if that kind of contributes to the overall height of it in statistics. I do remember hearing that it was the tallest in the world, but maybe is that because of the spike up there? I'm not too sure. But yeah, we'll walk down here a little bit further and get a close up look at this woody that's never actually operated. Oh, I'm having a bit of a mooch around, I do. And yeah, let's look at the Zombieland SNS combo tower over there. And yeah, I experienced that the other day. And here it is. Wow, I tell you what, the layout for this coaster looks awesome. It really does. It's a shame that it's not operational yet. And like I say, even when the Bollywood Park was still operating under that name, it hadn't operated and there's actually been no testing footage or anything of this ride that's why i wanted to cover it whilst we were out here and do a bit of a feature on it really because i find it fascinating that this ride got built and obviously attendance was dropping at bollywood parks dubai really if they'd have opened this attendance would have surely picked up in fact i was thinking of coming out to dubai possibly last year but i was waiting just in case this coaster opened and obviously you know we've ended up thinking oh let's just come this year now i mean january is a great time for us to travel but yeah really interesting to look at this and hopefully next time we come we'll get on this ride so yeah it's been built by gci great coasters international and yeah one of their hybrid models so you can see the wooden track just up there and the steel support structure station off to the right the name when it was the bollywood park was going to be called the bombay express i believe however i'm sure it'll have a different name now with it being real madrid world but yeah i just worried that this park could have a real mismatch of theming when it's completed already like having the star flyer and the wheel kind of takes away from its original theme in my opinion to what it was before um but yeah you can see a lot of active work happening over there but not so much at the coaster we yeah, lift hill quite a steep drop that banks to the left by the looks of it and then it's quite low down after this turnaround apparently it's got a lot of airtime this ride some were saying more airtime than any other wooden coaster and i can certainly see why that might be the case there's a lot of drops a lot of turns and yeah like look at this kind of double up then it goes into a double down yeah it looks like a fascinating layout it looks really good and you can see actually when you're driving in to the main car park so this is a big showpiece for them i'm sure they're going to want this operating as soon as possible um because yeah you know it's right next to the main car park here at dubai parks and resorts but it's always sad seeing a coast to close isn't it charlotte it is and this is such a big scale coast it's not like it's just a small one this is a huge coaster to just be sitting here nothing happening to it really also it's the only wooden coaster out here in the whole country i mean no surprise really i do worry how this is going to age and how it's going to ride in the future um but still i guess we'll find out i hope we get to ride it someday you know it's always sad you know for a ride that's brand new to be sat here it's been sat here a couple of years now you know since they finished construction so already it might even need track replacements you know or unless they've done some work prior to um the park opening and yeah if real madrid world does open later this year like it's supposed to let's see even if this coaster does open because there's no guarantee that this will open straight away i'm sure it will do but there's no guarantee and just for the memories and prosperity really here's a nice shot of me with the coaster i like to do this because you never know there is a chance it could even get pulled down or relocated even with it being a hybrid so yeah just a shot of me here on the car park with the coaster there behind but fingers crossed we'll come back out here to the uae in a few years or whenever that'll be and we'll get on this ride so we're gonna head back to the hotel have a bit of a swim in the pool and have a relax now make the most of this lovely 25 degrees celsius weather and we'll see you a little bit later on where we'll carry on with this video we'll have a little look around riverland show you some of the other different areas and uh, also at night as well and along with that we'll check out the two hotels and this laser show so we'll see you a little bit later well it's been a few hours and yeah i've been back to the lovely hotel had a swim in that pool yeah make sure you check out the travel vlog if you haven't already seen it just spent like an hour in that pool it was amazing and i had my fourth shower we've only been here for two days about four showers already it's such a nice shower the cleanest i've ever been here <laughs> <laughs> well here we go back here to riverland yeah for a walk around this evening see this laser show and yeah have a bit of a moose round really see what there is gorgeous sunset here tonight at riverland and there's a look over to Motion Gate Dubai and John Wick open contracts, the SNS 4D free spin. And yeah, you can hear my thoughts on that over in the vlog. So yeah, this is La Pita. This is really nice. I mean, it's a Polynesian inspired hotel. In fact, it looks very much inspired by the Polynesian at Walt Disney World in Florida. And yeah, we're going to see if we can go and have a walk around. Last time I was here, just strolled straight in because they've got like a rooftop bar. So yeah, let's go and have a little look and see if we can get in. 
And whilst we're just walking over this lovely bridge here, look at this down here. So according to the posters, this is the world's largest inflatable course. Look at this. I mean, the posters, I don't think lie. Look at the size of that. Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> that is massive as well, isn't it? Look at that, all down here. In Riverland, yeah, you got the coffee club just over there. You got some uh, other food outlets on the left, and also as well, you got the JCB diggers. But yeah, like I say, a couple of these buildings over here, even you know, have got nothing in. There's a brewery, I think, here in the middle. That's quite nice, like a little pub area. Yeah, look at this. This is a lovely area, and yeah, we've got this laser show coming up shortly. Should be really nice. Oh, that sky is beautiful. Lovely view from the bridge all the way down the river there. And you can see all the lights too. And yeah, that Ferris wheel, they'll be part of Real Madrid World when it opens, hopefully later this year. So you got the keg, gastro pub, off to the right. And here it is, the world's largest sculpture of a camel. Uh, just what we wanted to come and see this is, there we go. All the signs and everything for it. This looks very impressive. It's nice down here by the water. What a backdrop for it. And it's got all lights in there as well. That is nice beautiful. Camel. What do you think is that, Charlotte? I mean, it's big, but I thought there'd be a bigger one than this, but it is not. Oh, there isn't. It's got the Guinness wow. Book of World Records for this one. That's it. Open it up now if you've got it at home. It's quite big. And find there. Yeah, it's massive. Have we got some, uh, got some stats on it? I'm not too sure. No facts. Any facts? Have we got like a height, weight, or anything like that? No, I can't see anything. About him. Very nice, though. Look at the size of him. And yeah, you can kind of see across to all the other restaurants and shops. Lego land off to the right there entrance to Real Madrid world there and motion gate to the left and yeah I think we're right in the heart of where this laser show is going to be like all oh, this is the equipment here so we're probably going to stand over there it's only about an hour a few times every night so yeah we'll go and stand just over the other side whilst we watch it yeah you've got that lovely bridge that's all lit up that looks like it leads over to the Legoland Hotel what a camel this bridge is really nicely lit up very scenic a nice sky, golden hour in Dubai. And yeah, there's a look at these massive moving heads. Look at those, I love my tech. And yeah, there we go, that's the keg gastro pub. Hops from around the world, if you like your beer. Lovely. And yeah, this is the whole kind of French quarter again down here. What a lovely time to be filming this as well, like, you know, with this sky. Stunning, isn't it, tonight? So nicely finished off. Yeah, hopefully in the next few years, we'll see even more businesses move in around here. Because, you know, there's still quite a few empty places, but not as many as there was when I first came. I always remember the first time I came, there was literally two or three things here, you know. So, yeah, gradually it's starting to develop around here, which I'm really pleased to see. This guy, though, is an eye. Oh, stunning. <laughs> he just had a photo on that moped over there, too, which is very nice. Oh, it's lovely around here. Yeah, it just comes more alive at night. It's a lot full of people, but right? it's just got a nice vibe about it on an evening. That sky though, oh, it is gorgeous. I love just walking around. It's so nice being back here in the UAE. We've got so much more to discover because back to another major theme park tomorrow as we head to IMG Worlds of Adventure. Yeah, a huge indoor park. Right then, so we just strolled out of Riverland for a moment to come and have a look around La Pita, which is this beautiful Polynesian style hotel. The theming and style of it is great, it really is. It's very expensive to stay here, I did price it up, but for two nights here, it costs more than nine nights in Rove at the Park, of course, that we showed in the travel vlog. But yeah, it does look nice, and to be honest, if you just wanted to do a day at both the parks down here, you just do one night stay here and it'd be lovely, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, you've got all the balconies, it's lovely. It feels very, like, <laughs> very similar to the Polynesian at Walt Disney World. I feel like I'm back at Walt Disney World. <laughs> it's very nice. Last time uh, I came here, I went to a rooftop bar. I think it was just around here on the left, actually. And uh, yeah, this is a, a gorgeous hotel. There's a spa. A lot of the rooms have got balconies and look out over the water. There's a big pool area. And yeah, here's the main lobby area. I mean, this is gorgeous, isn't it? I mean, you know, in terms of as hotels go in uh, Dubai and the UAE, this is probably quite moderate to be honest, but uh, this is stunning. I, I love this. And here we are inside the main lobby area. Wow, it's beautiful and the smells here as well. Oh, so nice. You have like scents and smell pods like throughout all these hotels. Yeah, it's so nice. That Polynesian style. This is stunning. It really is. And yeah, the rooftop bar doesn't open until later on, it seems. However, you get an idea on the view from here because they keep the Capital Bullet Train, Mac launch coaster lit up. And yeah, you can just see it there. 
through the trees. We'll have a little walk down to the water's edge in a moment before just going back into Riverland. Yeah, I just wanted to come and show you this because yeah, it's all part of this resort. You know, you could stay here for like a week if you wanted to and just not even leave you the pools and how nice is this? It is so nice. Like on an evening with all the lights, it's just beautiful. It is stunning. Yeah, these look like the flame effects and yeah, that's the bar right up the top up there. So yeah, it must open later on on an evening. But, yeah, this is really nice. I had to come and show you this whilst we were here just to kind of document it all. It's all part of what makes this resort. And here's a look down at the pool area. They've actually got a lazy river here as well. Yeah, it's very nice. And if you're in one of these rooms, you get a balcony looking out over it all. It's like all the little lights that they've got in the palm trees. Oh, it's lovely. So well finished off. Nice and chilled out around here. And yeah, it's quite funny because one of these golf buggies just came past with a lovely member of staff and he was like, where do you want to go? I'll take you there. How nice of him that. That's really nice. Yeah, lovely. Now this is the place where I want to stay if I was in this hotel with a motion gate view and oh look at this down here all the coasters lit up you actually get a better view of the coasters over here than you do in the park <laughs> look at this I should have come here in the daytime to get some off-ride shots <laughs> look at that sky the camera doesn't do it justice amazing and yeah this area here looks right over the park like oh it's lovely yeah these are the rooms you want to be staying in in my opinion anyway i mean a pool view would be great but yeah this view is fantastic you can look at john wick all night long just over there i wonder if they keep it lit up all night they probably do and yeah look at that looks spectacular doesn't it now you see me high roller off to the left hand side and then of course capital bullet train there with a great lighting package hey here we go capital bullet train you should see it just going up that spike now there it goes i tell you what, John Wick's noisy. It's really loud like when he goes around from over here. Yeah, and that's La Pita, the Polynesian Resort. What a great time to walk around and appreciate this. Yeah, we're gonna head now back into Riverland Dubai. The entrance is just down here. Oh, I really enjoyed that walk there around La Pita. I'd love to stay there in the future. That was gorgeous around there, but I felt like I was back at Disney World. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's very nice there, all the Polynesian theming. I know we're gonna have a stroll back around this side of Riverland now and have a look at the Legoland Hotel. I tell you what though, this whole area is lovely. It's got quite a nice atmosphere about it tonight. And actually it reminds me a little bit of Port Aventura's <laughs> entrance in a weird way. I can kind of see where you're coming from. <laughs> like the Spanish Mediterranean style buildings. Well, you get some nice yummy crepes. Just over there too, you like crepes? Yeah, all these buildings, gorgeous. Legoland Dubai sign looks good all lit up at night. And yeah, just round to the right here is where we get round to the hotel. So yeah, I'm sure we'll be able to kind of walk around here because when we walked out of the park earlier, we saw this sign, it was like, yeah, come in, come and enjoy the hotel restaurant and come and see it. So yeah, I'm sure we'll have to just stroll straight in round here. Let's go have a look. Very nice. Oh, he's got a swimming pool out here. This is very nice. Look at that. All the palm trees, all with the lights wrapped round. Yeah, this is gorgeous. Yeah, very similar to the ones at the other Lego resorts. But yeah, this is just massive for like the height of it. It's got a few more stories than the one in Windsor. Cabanas round at the side. Nice. Yeah, that looks good. And yeah, let's go and have a little mooch just inside, see what we can see. Join us for a Lego themed dining experience and yeah, you got all the minifigures around here at the side. Yeah, a bit of a play area on the inside just there too. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it's very nice. A little pirate just down here, minifigure. Creative workshop just over there. All this Lego play area, a shop and the Bricks family restaurant just over there to the side. Yeah, small little gift shop. Over in here, kids eat free tonight before 10 p.m. I like the carpet in here. That's pretty cool. Another minifigure there saying, Have a bricktastic day with the Legoland Hotel sign made of Lego, of course. And so we've got the Christmas tree out here as well. I like him. Good. It's very nice in here, and you got a camel photo opportunity as well which is good <laughs> oh that's really good that is yeah you got the skyline lounge just over there too well yeah we're gonna make our way outside now and go and check out this laser show in riverland 
Nice look there around the Legoland Hotel. And yeah, it's massive. In fact, the lobby area didn't seem that big compared to the size of the hotel. Yeah, it's very nice in there. I think if I was gonna stay in either though, I'd definitely be in the Polynesian Hotel. Oh, it was so nice, that was. And yeah, we sat just here and you can still hear John Wick. There it is over there, the SNS 4D free spin roaring around the track. And yeah, this laser show should be starting literally in about 60 seconds. So there's a few people waiting about for it. Not many though. So let's see what happens. So as you can see, it's 7.34 and nothing seems to have happened down here yet. So we'll give it a few minutes and see. But yeah, there's posters advertising it everywhere. And also on the website, we've just checked. Yeah, it says it runs um, Wednesday to Sunday, 7.30, 8.30 and 9.30. It's a show you won't want to miss. But yeah, it does advertise it all down here. And it says that it's running today and we're in position just here for it. And yeah, there's a few other people about, but not many. So we'll give it another few minutes, see if anything happens. If not, we'll find a member of staff and ask. And yeah, if not, I don't think we're gonna be seeing it, sadly. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> right then, so we just spoke with a couple of members of staff and yeah, they didn't really know much about it, did they? didn't really know anything about it. We asked one man, he was like, not today, maybe Sunday, maybe Monday, and then we asked some more and they didn't know. Yeah, I'm really not too sure. I'll tell you what is cool, all, all these driving around on these. I, I love them, fantastic. So yeah, I don't know, we might linger about until 8.30 and see if it's going to be on, or I think there might be a guest services down here, so we'll try and get a proper answer. I don't mind waiting until 8.30 if it's definitely going to be on. Look at these. <laughs> yeah, it would have been good to see it. But yeah, we'll uh, see what happens. Nice big Riverland sign over here though, which looks fantastic. But yeah, it's definitely stated on the website and on the boards. And yeah, it said that restaurant there is like the best place to view it, because it's in the middle. And then you can kind of stand anywhere around here at the side. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. If not, that'll be the end of this video tonight. Neon Galaxy just over here, like a big indoor play area. Look at all the lights and stuff oh, in there. I'd have oh, loved that when I was a kid. Oh, that one's awesome. Big slides, all funky lighting. Yeah, that's pretty awesome, that. Oh, we've tried to find out, and yeah, nobody really seems to know anything about it, even though it's on the posters and the website. And yeah, nothing happened at 7.30. So yeah, I'll ask one more time down here at the entrance. If not, that's going to bring us to the end of tonight's vlog. Well, after that clip, we did just speak with the staff at the main entrance, and they did unfortunately say there's no laser show tonight. It doesn't start until tomorrow. I can't believe it, but at least we got a clear answer. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. We don't want to wait around until 8.30 unless, uh, you know, we definitely know it's going to happen. Uh, but still, that brings us to the end of the vlog. We've actually made our way back to the hotel now. We're going to uh, nip into the pool. I went in earlier on, um, but yeah, we're both going in tonight. It's very quiet. There was nobody in there. <laughs> yeah, we thought we'd have a little look. Um, but overall, Dubai Parks and Resorts is great. I you've enjoyed seeing this and of course we filmed the theme parks over the past two days but I wanted to just show you outside of the parks and have a look at the other park of course the Real Madrid Park and yeah that's going to be really interesting actually uh, how it's going to come together with the mix of the two themes a little bit concerned about that yeah because you've got like the Bollywood theme how's that going to mix with Real Madrid I'm not too sure but we'll find out and hopefully that wooden coaster will be operating this year because it does look fantastic I don't think it's going to open anytime soon by the looks of work still happening um, but yeah it'll probably be later this year so yeah we'll uh, find out and hopefully ride that at some point in the future overall though it's a really nice resort the hotels are great especially Lapita the Polynesian theming oh so oh, good that was so nice like seeing it at night with all the light and it was perfect yeah and it's been a good time to film this walking round because the sun was setting which was really nice too and that's the thing on this channel you know we are theme park worldwide we're not just about the coasters I like showing you the full experience and uh, you know you, you see the two parks that's currently there operating I wanted to show you everything in the middle you know with Riverland and uh, how that all comes together because it's a very nice area it really is uh, of course there's still quite a few empty buildings hopefully there'll be more shops and restaurants in the future um, but it's a great place to come and like it's just nice walking around isn't it it was so nice there's still quite a bit to do but it'd be nice if even more came in yeah definitely there's some good restaurants and stuff around there like that little pub and yeah there should be a laser show sometimes <laughs> but uh, not tonight unfortunately uh, we are going to be missing that one but we've got the awesome fountain shows to see uh, down in uh, downtown Dubai, which I'm looking forward to. Uh, in terms of the next vlog coming up here on Theme Park Worldwide, another big theme park tomorrow, it's IMG Worlds of Adventure. Huge indoor park, this one. I love an indoor park, so I'm really looking forward to this one. We've got plenty of indoor parks, Charlotte, Yay. this trip, which is going to be great. And uh, yeah, really excited to get back to here. Uh, but from Dubai Parks and Resorts, that leaves us with one final thing to say. Get, get out there and keep on riding. riding. See you tomorrow.